All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 3v5 on the brand new map, Kilimanjaro, as part of my new video series on the African Kingdom's expansion to Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. The new expansion just came out a week ago as of the time of me recording this, and I will, of course, be playing this live. If you want to get in on these matches, by all means, feel free to head on over to my Twitch page. You'll have a link in the video description to all that good stuff. They added four new civilizations, and today I'll be playing as the Malians. I will be going through all the new civs and playing them you know, at least several times and experimenting with strategies. Since uh, the players that we ended up getting in the drawing today are pretty low rated, I'm going to make it a 3 5 and try and balance this out. And I think the idea is I'm going to be going for a longsword rush. Uh, this map is similar to Arabia. More trees in the middle. GLHF. Now, I haven't actually had too much of a chance to practice a lot of the new sieves, so you can expect me to be experimenting with a lot of new strategies. I think that since the Mullions get an extra Pierce armor every single age starting in the Feudal Age for their infantry units, that maybe, combined with something like Arson, uh, maybe actually like their Long Swordsmen are usable as a unit, because in general, Long Swordsmen is a unit that is tragically underappreciated in uh, Age of Empires 2. It's very, very rarely uh, actually utilized. Generally speaking, like, if you're ever considering making long swordsmen, you know, knights are generally a better option most of the time. Perhaps, uh, crossbowmen as well, just usually a better alternative. Uh, long swordsmen just tend to get outclassed. Champions do see some play, militia see some play, men at arms see some play, but long swordsmen a little bit less so. So I'd like to at least give it a shot this game. And uh, I'll also be exploring all sorts of other miscellaneous Malian strategies in other videos, which at some point I will have all that in the video description. Kami is Goths, be warned, or I think it's Black Winds. Thankfully, I'm the Malians, though, and I should be okay in that case. This map is very similar to Arabia, but uh, it has, like, a lot of trees in the middle of the map. If you're wondering why my trees are so tiny, it's because I have a graphic mod. Um, it's called Pussywood. And Pussywood it does indeed shrink the sizes of your trees down a little bit. That way, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. So, we're going to start working on the lumber camp in a little bit. Yeah, we got an, like, abnormally, like, low-rated mix of players this game, so hopefully this is balanced, but you never know. Like, people's ratings are always very deceptive, especially around the 1600 mark. You never know if it's just because they haven't played that many games, or they just happen to be a little bit slow. Yeah, sort of, uh, Jazby. You can kind of compare the Molly and Militia line to Discount Husk Girls. Hello, side, uh, sad A, yeah. Always and ever again Goths. Every game, there's always Goths. But this time, the Blackwinds has kindly reminded me early on, so we're not going to be surprised. Hello, Cision. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Estaco, um, I had to restart Steam, and it still didn't work, but when I turned on my computer the next day, Pussywood was working, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm a wizard, I guess. I don't know. The more you know. The new civs are... All very, very fun to play, uh, and they're certainly not nearly as weak as the Forgotten Civs were on release, but this game, like, the new expansion came with a lot of miscellaneous balance improvements as well, so the older Civs did end up getting just a little bit of love uh, to sort of bring them up to speed with some of the top-tier Civs, like the, you know, Mongols, for example, so everybody is working their way up, and the game is reasonably well-balanced now, I think. Some of the new civs might be uh, just just the tip on the strong side, but that could always be adjusted in the future. And in my personal opinion, one thing that I, I, I got my eyes on is this arson technology that they added. It's 150... Where, where's my elephant? I have an elephant, right? There was an elephant somewhere. Oh, goodness. This map is really weird. I, I forgot that there's actually a different distribution of resources. Where's my elephant? Am I blind? Oh, there's my elephant. That's what I thought. I thought my elephant was over there. All right, Jesus. All right, we idle now. What a bizarre map. I guess I can mill this a little bit early. Oh shit, I need 49 food. This is the worst start in the universe. Come on, Mr. Elephant. Here, boy, here, boy. Anyway, arson is a new technology that they added at the barracks. It costs uh, 150 food to 100 and then like 50 gold. Get it in the castle age, adds like plus two attack to infantry. I like this tech a lot. By design, I think that it's could potentially incentivize civs that don't normally, I guess, use their infantry line to actually use their infantry line. Um, 
I like that. Probably should have had more villagers over here, but I needed some degree of food, so my TC has been idle for 38 years. Please drop off something. Forgot that there's actually only four... There's only four goats on this map, which are, like, literally sheep. There's only four. Uh, and there's only one boar, and it's an elephant, so it's like, ugh! This map is weird. So much idle time. What I like arson, as in that... I don't know if it's necessarily going to encourage civs to make long swordsmen, uh, at least civs that don't normally have like strong infantry like the Malians. But uh, my, I got my eyes on, I guess, really crazy synergy that the Goss might have with it, um, and the Ethiopians. Perhaps Arson is one of those technologies where maybe it should be limited to civs that... God, I hate people who do this. Uh, limited to civs that don't actually have... Um, like, the best infantry in the game. Might not be fair with something like Ethiopians or, uh, Goss, but we'll have to see. Talk about a bad start. Can I even fast castle on this map? Such an odd distribution of resources. One thing that they also did to mix up things in African Kingdoms is, like, the maps have, like, either a different distribution of resources that, you know, no one's ever seen that before, or uh, you start with, like, more villagers, like Socotra, this is Kilimanjaro. I like this one a lot. Uh, my problem with Sokotra, though, is I feel like there's just not enough trees on that map. Like, I think they added more, but it's still, like, nothing. I don't know what my build order is supposed to be, but I'll tell you that this feels wrong. <laughs> Out of all the new sieves, I think my favorite sieve would be the Berbers so far, and they, they feel like one of the more fair ones. Uh, one thing that might need to be done about the Berbers is, I, I think it would honestly be totally okay if the Berbers, um, we made it so, like, their cavalry were 15% cheaper in the Castle Age instead of 20%, and then that bonus scales to 20% in Imp. I, I think that would make them basically fair. Because uh, I think that as a sieve, they're, they're almost balanced. Th they're, they're probably one of the more balanced ones out of all of them. Uh, they, they're all very interesting, and they explore all sorts of design space that we haven't really seen before, so... Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's like, a, it's a whole new world, a whole new game. Dazzling place and never knew. <laughs> Thank you, Pale, uh, Pale X Her. I had a very bad start, but I've already explained that. Um, glad you liked my voice, though. It's difficult to play while giving my commentary and trying to read the Twitch chat at the same time. But I got that multitasking, dude. I've got this. One thing that I, I didn't actually note in my... I have a video on every single one of the new civs, if you wanted to learn a little bit more about how they work. Uh, and here's some of my thoughts on them. Thank you, Pikamiya, for the resub. Much appreciated. I didn't really mention this in the Malians video, but... Malian farms actually cost... 51 food and not 60, so that's... That's certainly relevant. Certainly very, very relevant. So yeah, I'll try and take some advantage of Long Swordsman here. I don't know if I necessarily want to be men at arms rushing Okami Sensei. Uh, I could, but. Huh. Maybe these teams aren't balanced. Did I mess up again? Thank you, Flatch, for the sub. And welcome to the stream. This is game one, yeah. It's, no, I'm not starting half an hour later. Oh my god, it's called Daylight Savings Time. I'm starting half an hour early today. I started early today. So yeah, Daylight Savings Time. Wow, everyone's subbing. Thank you so much, Rhaegar, for your sub. Oh, do they split between the ostriches? Yeah, <laughs> new animals, too. It's pretty sick. Alright. I don't know how to play this map. I feel like my, my castle time is going to be so bad, because I had so much idle time at the start. It's one of the worst starts I've actually ever had. Oh, for you, you meant. I suppose that is true. But for me, I started early, because I knew. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit in the Dark Age for 38 years and make another build, because frankly, my castle time is going to be bad anyway. I don't really know. I probably shouldn't even be doing that, but... I'm not actually sure how to play this map with such a weird distribution of resources. You have, like, six deer, one boar, and only four goats. And, uh... Yeah, I believe that evens out to... It adds up to be significantly less food than you would normally have, so... I'm not actually sure what the optimal build is. For this, but I'm certainly doing a mediocre job of that. Kmar says, Mass infantry with arson, just do it. I will do it. I want to make long swordsman this game. I never really get to take advantage of that. I also probably need to adjust my Twitch chat overlay slightly because it probably looks a little bit weird with some of the new 
uh, sieves at the bottom. Yeah, uh, no, it, it doesn't it say that Ski Wars? Doesn't it say PST and not PDT? I think I updated that. It might not say that on the stream title, though. Welcome to stream, Ski Wars. It might not say that on the title, but it should say that below. Okay, well, I actually have enough food, so I didn't butcher this entirely, but I probably won't have enough gold. Um, this map also doesn't have a lot of trees. None of the new maps have a lot of trees. I'm, like, so vulnerable to a rush. This is, this is like, disgusting. I haven't seen a map this open since that Break the Meta episode where Doubt plays Turks. This map is so open. Good lord. That is vul- I have never felt this naked in my life. That is an oddly placed lumber camp. Wow. I'm gonna need to get to the Castle Age and take advantage of that new unique tech uh, that, that makes my town centers like fire arrows. If I don't have anything inside it. That one's cool. Maybe I should be doing like a post commentary on all this junk, because that way I can actually talk more about the civs in depth. It's difficult to go through my thoughts while I'm playing a map that I have like no experience with and a civ that I yeah, also have very little experience with while talking. That'll give me best shot. It's a bad castle time. It's very bad. He has a barracks, so he might be up to no good. Looks like Okami Sensei actually attempted to wall. I admire that. Do I have a better wood line anywhere, or... Okay, I guess I really don't. Uh, hopefully no one sees that lumber camp. I have no idea what strategy he's going for, because I can't scout his base, because he actually walled up. Well, that's fascinating. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more farms, I think. And I want to make a barracks at some point this millennium. One of the things with African Kingdoms is that, like, uh, the new maps have some spaces between the non-dragon type trees, so we have like the acacia tree, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, I get that wrong a lot, and then the, uh, the baobab trees, they have like a little bit of space between them, which makes you know, walling up even harder, and it means that your lumber camp positioning always feels subpar. Still a little sick after BlizzCon, but just rolling with it. Hello, up down G. It's pretty weak, Alex save, yeah. Dark Paladin has new Gabitos counter Huskarls well, since their attacks are considered melee damage despite being ranged. I would say that, yes, but uh, Gabitos are still really squishy. Uh, oh, I'm getting men at arms rushed by the Goths. Well, that sucks ass, as I am, like, wide open. Ripe for the picking here. I don't even have a barracks yet. This map is, like, anti resonance 22. I'm gonna have to shank him with my, uh, with my villagers here, as I have no other option. Sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Alright, well. Me no think this is a real strategy. Alright, I'm gonna fight him. I wanna try and keep this uh, 10 HP bill out of there, though. Maybe I can fight him underneath the TC. Time to test your micro, buddy. I'll get this. Why not? Alright. Bring in one minute arms. I'm gonna fight him. You got one vill. Which is fine, I guess. You can have your one villager. Get this one. Should be able to get minimal losses. Try and keep the low HP vills away from him. And... I gotta build, like, three more farms. Okay. That was alright. He can fight me all he wants. I'll have him know. I have the... The advantage here, I think, right? Wait, is he still gonna get the... Oh. I guess I didn't. I guess that one was at full HP, but I got him anyways. Not a big deal. Oh! Is my pocket archer rushing? Alright. Okay, alright, that's legit. I'll take it. Now, uh, where is that long swordsman upgrade? That's expensive. I don't think this is a real strategy. I felt like, uh, on one hand, people would complain if I, uh... Just played the new civs, and I played them, like, super standard, and I was just like, oh, you know. I'll go for a night rush. It's like, for something like the Portuguese, I feel like that's optimal. Um, something like a night rush or a monk rush strategies we've already seen. Uh, so I feel like I would do something a little bit new. Okay, so I've got Longswordsman. 
So I can start making some of those. Put a couple of these. Thank you, Eric Wagon, for the sub. I really appreciate it. I make a couple of these bad boys. Do we grab that scale mail armor? Why not? Cool. So yeah, make a couple of these. Grab that arson tech. Look how tanky I am. Made of solid Russian steel. Well, I mean, Amalians, but you know. Oof. Oh, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna poke at me. Look how paranoid I am. Am I getting, am I getting spearman rushed by bonus docs? Oh shit. This is the counter. Man, long swordsman rush OP. Decision better nerf this. This is exactly, this is exactly perfect against uh, these enemy spearmen. That's what I mean. Like, look at the everyone's rating was like so close to each other, right? Remember, remember this, guys. Everyone's rating. Low diaper is the same rating as innovation. They're like almost the same rating. So, yeah. Just goes to show, you can't take people's ratings too seriously, because you, you just never know. You never know. I need to get Arson. That's what would make this strategy, like, almost legit. Just to get something like Arson. Uh, it feels bad, because, like, Mo Diaper is assisting me on this side, so, you yeah. Not the most fair, but yeah, then I grab this Arson tech, like, I don't know. Is this a real strategy? Because it's real now. Alright, we're in. Imagine how much better this would be if you get to the Castle Age at some point before the next millennium. Gosh, I feel like such a bully. My diaper, get out of here. Gotta make some gibitos. Later on, sir. Later on. You can make these the... Can you this up? I'll get tracking, yeah. Dude, extra vision's good. Thank you, Kmart, for the other donation. I see you're donating in, uh... All the same number. I see mass infantry yet. I'm working. Dude, that's mass infantry. We all have to start somewhere, right? I got arson. Check this out. Yeah, I already have arson research to look at this building get destroyed. Hey, Dolan. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to play the game. This takes way too much focus. Uh, welcome to the stream. Sorry, Mr. Hello, Dolan. Look at the Oh, my God. So much untapped power. Look at this! Oh god, Okami Sensei is gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna leave him alone, and we're gonna go straight for their pocket. I'm gonna rush their pocket with Long Swordsman. If there's a metagame in this game, I don't wanna know what it is, because I'm having way too much fun with this. Look at the Demolition Squad. You guys ever seen Demolition Man? It's just like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cover the map in stupid farms. Do I even get forging too to kill buildings even faster? Oh, only time will tell. Building another barracks. I'm building this one significantly further out, so I guess I spend a little bit less time walking. I should probably really get squires. I bet innovation won't see this coming. I see no reason for him to see it coming. Or maybe I should go for bonus docks. Get squires. <laughs> this doesn't actually feel that bad. I feel like it should be a lot worse than this. Well, I don't want to kill Okami Sensei. That's the thing, uh, Li Li. It's like or Li Yi, or L L E. Um, I don't want to kill him. I want to give him a chance. <clears throat> we'll kill him later. I feel like it'd be like unfair if he felt like we were ganging up on him, right? So I want to give him a chance at least. It's not like I stream to just try hard kill people. Uh, I don't really see the point of that. I might as well just be playing on my own time. I, I stream just to hang out with you guys. Oh, wait, what? He's dead? Well, Gormort, I didn't know you had it in ya. <laughs> okay, well, the demolition squad is here. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna rally these long swordsmen across the map. I feel like I'm really gonna regret this, aren't I, right? Because I am, like, super vulnerable to any sort of aggression. Um, but like I said earlier, I feel absolutely naked. Uh, there's no way my base is safe, and... Can't build a town center in the middle of the map because it's all covered in hills, and... Oh! I can do that, though. Log swordsmen do create very quickly, so that's something that I have that's quite nice. Yeah, screw it, I'll get, I'll get a handcart right now, why not? Oh yeah, it turns into the Black Scottish Cyclopses. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> Me want stone. Me want stone real bad. Wolf says, do you still play professionally? Never professionally. 
I mean, I used to uh, do like laddering and stuff, and I used to be part of a clan. We took it seriously, but professionally implies that I ever got paid or had some sort of sponsor, and that was never true. Um, I was never that good, or good enough, I guess, for that. But yeah, I used to be like 1650, seven, low 1700 Wubly back in the day. But now I mostly play for fun. You play enough uh, Age of Empires 2 in the ladder, and. You know, and you start. It just becomes a lot less fun, I think. I'm doing something really weird here. Instead of, like, actually, you know, killing um, villagers, I'm actually just blowing up his buildings. <laughs> Zuffy says, uh, rushing longswords are really strong, and all these archers can counter them. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, is, it seems pretty good. I don't know. I'll have to play with it more to really know for sure, but right now it, it seems at least okay. Uh, certainly, they're a lot better against archers. Feels really bad attacking this guy. Now that I've blown up all of Innovation's buildings, I feel like it's time that I, I pay his friend a little visit. Say hello to my little friend. Where is Red? I see he has a lumber camp over here, so his actual base is probably somewhere in this general direction, right? Yeah, every Civ gets arson. I, I don't think they should, though. I think that the arson tech should be balanced around giving it to civs that need it, rather than just, I don't know, making the goss even more of a feast or famine civ. But that's just me, man. That is just me. I like the idea of arson, though. It, I mean, like, right here, it, it makes long swordsmen feel pretty good. A lot of people's ratings were, like, all over the map here. I guess this still wasn't fair, but maybe it's just the long swordsman, man. I feel like I'm so vulnerable right now. Like, I'm so incredibly vulnerable. Alright, well, now here comes the test of time. How tanky am I? I've got a lot of armor, right? So I got, I got 1 plus 4 pierce armor and then 2 melee armor. Is this the counter? My opponent has a lot of elite skirmishers, which are a little bit subpar against my own unit, so maybe this is actually good. Um, am I am I winning this battle? Bonus docs, I'd like to I'd like to apologize on behalf of everybody here. This is this is brutal. Am I even taking any damage? It's like when they gave uh, Doombringer one extra armor in Dota. It's taking literally no damage. Holy shit! The power, the the raw untapped power. Well, geez. I guess the new metagame is, uh, you know, mass long swordsmen from, <laughs> from the Malians. You, you fast castle into long swordsmen and you, you attack the enemy pocket player with them. This is disgusting. I have to go kill Teal. Now that I've killed this entire army, I know it might seem lame that I'm showing him some mercy, but the enemy team, like a lot of people don't have that much of a chance to play with me. Like, I mean, everyone obviously has the same chance, but sometimes it takes people a while and... You know, nothing feels worse than you finally get a chance to play with me, and uh, you get steamrolled by Longswordsman, so. I'll give him a brief chance. I will come back later, but I'd rather pick on the guy who might have a chance of handling it. Well, I say that, but he looks like he's actually in trouble. Were those Genitutors? Hello, purple. I mean, I guess the, the fun part about this is that, I mean, I don't really need to... Uh, I don't really need to worry if my opponent's villagers are safe or something like that. I can just simply kill their buildings. Hello, friend! <laughs> How are you doing? I'd like to personally welcome you. Oh, what? Oh, god, they went to the wrong farms. Stupid villagers. He also has a farmer in one of my farms. They'll fix that bug someday, guys, don't worry. This farm is our farm. Okay. My base is so vulnerable. I'm gonna build a castle here. Then I'll get that, uh... What was it? Twi Tigui? Tigui? You can expect me to pronounce all the new text wrong at first, but I I'll get them right eventually. Oh, you're long swordsman. Nice try, buddy. Okay, those are my allies. Hey, Liam King. Oh, yes! How does it feel? Who's your daddy now? Good lord. The dirtiest thing I've ever seen. 
Is there any counterplay? My guess is, is that something like Crossbone is still tolerable against this, but not amazing. I'll be doing two less damage. I mean, you can still kite them. Uh, cavalry archers are probably legit here, yeah. I can imagine that cavalry archers are a strong answer to something like this. And since cavalry archers just cost less for everybody now, maybe that's a real thing. Oh, there's my group of dudes. So this is Genitura's. The real question is, is, when do I go for the throat? How many long swordsmen does it take, you know, critical mass? I, I'm not sure if he knows that his um, woodline is under attack, but... <laughs> this is working out pretty nicely! Zufia says, do you like the new textures and animals? Because I love it. I love it too, man. Uh, one of the things that I suggested really early on in development is that I thought they should just, you know, reskin some of the assets. You know, just give us a different colored fruit bush, maybe. Um, and I'm really glad that they did things like that. I love the new textures. The new graphics look amazing. Uh, the trees look a little weird because they're small, but, you know, that's my mod. Uh, I think that, yeah, it just looks awesome. I love playing with the new assets. All right, cool. Well, now I can start making some gabitos. Which are like super fast, speedy, throwing X-Men. Oh, yes. So much food, so little gold. Could really fix that. Oh, yeah, get all the gold mining upgrades for free. Alright. Um, scorpions are an interesting answer here. Critical mass is 200. Oh, my God, says he's done it before. It was great. Okay, so I need 200 to kill a town center. <laughs> I don't know if Gabito's counter cavalry archers dark paladin. Gabito's have so little HP. They have like 30 and no armor. Like, I think the cavalry archers should destroy them. But, you know, that's just me. You know, while I was part of the African Kingdoms beta testing team, I didn't have a chance to explore literally everything, and things have changed since I was in the beta. So... I don't... My assumption is that cavalry archers should win that. Boom! Screw your lumber camp. Probably uh, back this up with some siege weapons or something, because he's got the he's got the range advantage. <laughs> Look at these villagers standing right next to the tree. So cute. I think um not sure what I should do with all those like videos that I have backlogged. Hopefully people don't mind if I uh, upload some like videos of just the Forgotten Before African Kingdoms comes out, but I'll mix it in with the with the usual African Kingdom stuff too. So I've got a little bit of that backlog. I'd rather not just leave them behind. It's content is content, right? Let's go imp. Oh yeah. Check this out. I should really grab that relic, but it's just not worth my attention right now. I, I don't think the game will go on long enough for me to make fantastic use of that, but maybe. Yeah, I'll start building a forward castle with oh, one of those villagers. Is that a castle as well? I actually don't know. Okay, well, I can't really stop that, so... I think I'll wait a little bit. I should do something with these guys. Yes, that is one of the consequences of uh, the trees having a little bit of space between to make them look nicer aesthetically. Is that sometimes a gold mine will spawn inside them. So far, so good. Oh yeah, also, thank you so much everybody for all your support. I got to 20k subs on YouTube recently, and... Oh, honestly, like, that's... means a lot to me, thank you. Uh, Zufia says, Melians with Goss and their team sound strong during the Feudal and Castle Age. Perhaps indeed. Well, I missed some of your messages, my apologies, by the way. There's a lot of stuff that I gotta I gotta manage here. Oof. How much do I care about that? I never got that Tigwe tech. Should really get that. Sell some food. Alright, so I've got one hell of an army here. Probably need to make some rams and stuff. I'm gonna wait till I get to imp to engage though and finish the job. Oh, rip! I want to do a camel archer rush. That's something I wanted to do. There are a lot of strats I want to do. Thanks for the thanks for the love, Land Elite. Hey, Clemens, sir. Good to see you. I think one of my gather points is messed up. 
Okay, so what I want is this. Oh, yes. Oh my god, yes. I love how cool this architecture looks. It's the bee's knees. Can I build another castle? I did, right? Yeah, it's this one. Give me Elite Gabito. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it, it's not like... <laughs> my friend called them Elite Ghetto Warriors. And I think that he was almost serious. Then he realized he's like, oh, Gabito. Right. Okay, so I actually still don't have enough farmers. Really, I feel like my economy is a little small right now. Could improve that. Just build a TC over there, why not? Get all my techs. I want to make sure that by the time I move in, I have reached critical mass. And if I have a treb at the back of this, I should be good to go. I really want that, um... Tigui, yeah, there we go. Make me unraidable. Yeah, elite ghetto warriors. Farimba. Should take advantage of that some other game. I don't think I'll have time. I don't want to, like, dilly-dally here and just sort of play with myself while, uh... I delay the inevitable. I just wanted to wait until I had a couple more upgrades. That way, you know, you guys can put the Imperial March on in the background as we just attack move into his uh, into his army and just destroys the whole thing. On my signal, unleash hell. Why am I getting all the archer armor upgrades? I don't have any archers. Charge! Are we so tanky? One plus seven. It's important to note that a lack of blast furnace is actually a significant, um, significant problem for the Malians, uh, in that their infantry units will lose one-on-one -on -one in melee to sieves with blast furnace, usually, assuming that they have all the infantry upgrades, so... I'm not exactly sure if the Malians are where they need to be balance-wise right now, but they're not hideously broken, so that's good. Getting the champions. Got the Gabitos in here. Gabitos are a great raiding unit due to their like high speed. They're also the first female unique unit, one fact. CV says with Arson, all the upgrades and Malian champions might be even better than Huskarls. Uh, they serve kind of a, a, a little bit of a different purpose. It's like the Huskarls are a very binary feast or famine type unit, and that um, if your opponent has a bunch of archers and they don't have like any champions of their own, then the Huskarl will destroy their lives. And uh, you know, while your champions are very resistant on the range side of things, they don't have nearly as much pierce armor as a Huskarl. It's good, but it's not like... It's not like... Disgusting. Holy shit. What a massacre. Surrender your base to me! Wow. What a game. Well, try and get a more balanced group next time. Ah, quicksand. Damn you, Scission. Damn you. <laughs> Getting of course. What the hell is this? Getting raided by a bunch of dudes in pajamas? Really want to put a castle right here. That just puts a damper on my pamper. Gosh. Hey, those aren't our pajama warriors, right? Those are someone else's. I can't click on them. I ke it keeps clicking on the farm. They should really fix this bug, too. Alright, yeah, those elite wood raiders. Alright. That's not my castle either, is it? That's also not my problem, as he appears to be leaving. Yep, this is when the explanation mark blame thing. We were on Zach's stream. This is when it would be appropriate. Uh, he's gonna kill all my houses. Bastard has arson. Keep clicking on this castle thing, it's mine. Yo, Modipa. Now is the time to pull your army in this direction. Coming to a theater near you this summer. Mo Diaper moves his troops to the left. To the left. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna lose a couple I'm gonna lose a couple bills here. And it's nice of Red to clear out all that unnecessary uh, pop space that I definitely didn't want. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him next. I am tired of your back sass. More champions. Yes, good, good. Oh, shit. Delete it so I can get the stone back. Nice. Eh, not bad. I got all the, uh... Sweatpant warriors killed. 
Alright, not bad. That was almost problematic. He got me to delete a castle, which is unfortunate, but it happens. I think the rest of these guys will not escape. Okay, so what I want to do is push in this direction. I also want to... Let's see, what's he got over here? Castle. What the hell? What's going on? My town center! That's pretty cute. I give him that. It's one of the cuter plays I've seen all day. What the hell, man? This is sneaky backdoor trebuchet play. No one's ever done that. How utterly bizarre. Did not have both saw that's bad. What the hell? Oh, whoa, red. Whoa! This man's gone crazy. Alright, that is, uh... Pretty bonkers, friend. No, no one's done this to me yet. No one's actually put a put a castle behind my own base like this. That's that's a thing. I told this guy to attack move into that TC, right? Should probably try and sneak those champs in there. I don't know what they're rallying for, but maybe I just don't have one barracks that's hotkeyed. Should really just be. Really need more gold, too. Probably start working on a trade line. Just didn't think the game would go on this long. Is there any gold left? Alright, I don't mind that. Because I need, uh, I need helps. Okay. Yeah, no one's ever done that. Alright, buddy. I don't want to walk my Gabitos underneath that castle, or they'll just die. Should I use the guard function? Yeah. It's also something I, I never do. No gold income whatsoever, that sucks. No, I was already mining that, you... You bat rastered. Pardon me, but that was mine. Okay. Well, looks like we've reached ghetto late game, where I got no gold. But this is something that the Malians are pretty good at. It's not actually super broken. Um, the Malians have a reasonably good late game trash line due to their tanky halbs, which are, of course, exceptional. And the um, they also have uh, Frimba, which gives their like cavalry extra attack. They don't have Hussars, but it actually evens out. They beat Hussars straight up one on one, but it's pretty close. The Hussar has like one H, eight HP. As the light cavalry is eight HP. Yeah. After the fight. Thwack, thwack, thwack. <laughs> Look at this. There's nothing in here, by the way. I'm just gonna keep throwing axes. Uh, I gamer BG. Uh, this is something that the devs should probably communicate a little bit better. As uh, I get asked this question a lot. What if you want to zoom out as much as this, you have to change your actual display resolution. So, you know, go to your desktop and change the display resolution. Uh, I have, like, what, 1920 by 1080 or something like that. So that's why it looks so zoomed out. As soon as I get a big enough army, I'm going to huff, I'm going to puff, and I'm going in there. Do you even need siege weapons when you have... Arson. Probably will need all those blacksmith upgrades. I, I keep getting my buildings mixed up with my allies. Because they look the same. That's a saturated wood line if I've ever seen one. GG, well played. All right, we're moving in here. Oh, looks like they're looks like they're calling a game. Oh, oh! Before you resign, can rip. Oh God, he's killing all my villagers. Ah, <laughs> uh, from the grave, 
Camera rip. Oh, he rang the town bell. Alright, touche, Camera rip. Touche. Wow, that's a that's a long wood line. All right, let's check out how OP these uh, these helps are. I'm interested. Boom. All right, arson helps. They don't do that much damage to buildings, really. Like, you'll still need siege weapons. Hello, Marks. Yeah, we should probably keep the political discussion to a little bit of a minimum. Just because it can be, like, sort of a touchy subject for people. Like, unless we keep it, like, Care Bears-level politics. And, and that I'm okay with. Where it's like, well, you know, I... You know, indubitably, but I, I respectfully disagree with your opinion, you know. And you cite X and everyone, like, you know, links to their various scholarly articles and everything like that. Well, I think, you know... You, while well, your opinion is, is certainly valid, and I and I do think that it's a legitimate opinion, I have to respectfully disagree, good sir. And maybe if we sugarcoat it, maybe if we have like a political conversation, but like every other word is a compliment. So it's like, did I did I mention you know the Blackwoods? You're extremely handsome, but I also think you're wrong. You know something like that. <laughs> I'm just using the Blackwoods as like an arbitrary name, obviously, not addressing him directly. But yeah, you know, you could do something like that. Like, you handsome, handsome gentleman, you know nothing. <laughs> if we keep it Care Bears, maybe it's okay, right? But I think uh, I think we should mostly be talking about the game, unless it's like Care Bears level politics. Yeah. <laughs> or Care Bear level international news. We just don't want to, we just want to like touch people's, um, we don't want to offend anybody, I guess that makes any sense. Because uh, it can be a touchy subject for some people. It is more along the lines of national news, yeah. So you can be like, did you hear about what happened today uh, with so-and-so? They're all very handsome, beautiful people. Something like that. <laughs> the ghost does not offend anybody. It's like, uh, politics and news can be people's Achilles heel. Uh, religion as well. Whereas, you know, otherwise you would get along really well with said person, but then... Some people just have strong opinions in certain subjects. My castle time was bad. But thankfully, didn't matter. That actually felt pretty good. That was a silly game, but it worked out. Free Wolos asks, how do you feel about Eagle Scout rushing? I have to play with that a lot more. I think what will happen is, like, in a month or something, I'll do a series of follow-up videos where I talk about my thoughts on the metagame after it's settled. Uh, it's exciting. Things like Eagle Scout rushes, the fact that I have access to arson, Malians, who knows? The possibilities are endless. What I will say about Eagle Scout rushing is... Uh, it's difficult to evaluate. Eagle Scouts create incredibly quickly. I mean, sorry, they create incredibly slowly. The thing is, though, is they're difficult to counter in the view late, so I think it kind of balances out. It might almost be just fair. It's something I thought would be impossible to balance conceptually, but it might almost be fair. Because uh, the Eagle Scouts create incredibly slowly, and they are hard countered by men at arms, but it's an interesting dynamic because if you go for men at arms, you really slow down your castle time. It's much easier to sort of mine gold and field out Eagle Warriors than it is to sustain the 60 food costs for Men-at-Arms. And Eagle Warriors can sort of kite the Men-at-Arms, but Eagle Scouts are actually pretty slow. They don't become faster until they become really, like, Eagle elite Eagle Warriors, basically. So, yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure how good it is, but I don't think it's hideously broken or completely useless. It's something in the middle. Is it a little too strong? Maybe. Is it a little too weak? Not sure. Not sure. I'll have to play around with the Eagle Scouts. Uh, yeah, I'll play a game with the Portuguese, yeah. Play a game with the Portuguese next. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know if Canarip said anything to you guys, but, uh, unfortunately, he did appear to die to our good friend, Yellow. Well played, by the way, to everybody on my team, and the opposing team as well. Um, uh, wasn't the closest game in the universe, but it also wasn't completely one-sided. Uh, it worked out a lot better for me than I thought, so I will explore this again and have a better start. Kilimanjaro has, is a very bizarre map, and it, it tests you as a player. Um, the devs are throwing us in all sorts of weird situations where, like, Socotra, you start with so many more villagers, and then on this map you have one boar, but I guess the elephant has, like, 60 extra food compared to a boar. Uh, you have, like, six deer, which I guess are zebras or ostriches in this case. You have four bushes and four sheep, which are goats here, so you have less food overall. Um... So, if you're used to rigidly following a build order, then uh, it's going to be the death of you. 
Uh, Orion, I think Lemolians are an interesting sieve. I'll have to play around with them a lot. Um, I went over this a little bit beforehand, so I guess before I cut to the break and then we play the next game, I will briefly go over this. My thoughts will change. Uh, this game just came out. I expect there to be, you know, future balance changes too, and things are a little bit different since I was playing in the closed beta, so I have not had a chance yet to play with the new civs in their current state that much. I think the Malians are a strong civilization. It's important to note that the buildings cost 15% less wood do apply to their farms, which is actually quite significant. I didn't factor that in in my uh, my first video. It's something I probably should have mentioned, but you know, time constraints, I had to go to BlizzCon. Um, th I think this is a strong civilization. If I had to balance them, I, I, I think I would probably make it so the barracks units get one pierce armor per age doesn't apply in the Imperial Age, so they just get it twice rather than three times, and then give them back Bracer. I feel like not having Bracer just feels bad for the usability of a sieve, even if it balances them out. Like, you could always just take away Ring Archer armor. I am always a fan of taking away Ring Archer armor as opposed to Bracer unless absolutely necessary, and I would like to limit the amount of sieves that don't have it. Because having, like, shorter range just feels really not fun. Uh, to use, especially if your units have like inconsistent range to each other, so probably give them back Bracer, maybe you could tone down their infantry a bit by chopping off one of the Pierce Armors in the Imperial Age uh, or or you could give them back Blast Furnace, but just take away plate, uh, plate Mail Armor, I think that's also fair I think there are a lot of ways to balance them, they might be like a teeny bit in the strong side, it's difficult to say uh, the Gibito is a unit that's incredibly difficult for me to evaluate as well um, I wonder if the Elite Gibito actually is a little weak I'm not sure it's just super squishy. Like, it, this is a unit that really punishes you for not microing well, but if you micro well, it can be a devastating raiding unit. So, I'm not exactly sure how good or bad the Gabito is. It was really strong at one point. I'll have to play around with it to see. Uh, one of my concerns is that if there's any sort of delay or something like that, or in the late game when your opponent has, you know, easier answers, that maybe the Elite Gabito is just not that great. Like, its stats are, are pretty bad. Um, it does have good range, but... I don't know, this thing might need an extra one attack or something like that. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's absolutely fine. We'll have to see. I have to play with it. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, the thing is, is that all these civs are difficult to evaluate. And that's what makes... Because they're very unique and interesting and new. And once I get a chance to play with them, I'll certainly do a follow-up version of that. So anyway... Yeah. You're allowed to post your link to scholarly articles as long as you keep it ex as so polite and like respectful that people should be vomiting at how nice and cute you're being. Hello, Cole me. It's good to see you. Yeah, thank you for stopping by and saying hello. It does mean a lot to me. I, it's nice to see everybody, you know. Okie dokie. So, thank you so much for watching. So far, uh, I'm going to be back in about, you know, like one to two minutes. I'm going to go grab a glass of water, and then we're going to go play the next game in the stream. So don't go anywhere. Hope you enjoyed watching this match. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on YouTube, as it does make a colossal difference. Feedback is appreciated. I do read all the comments, even if I don't get a chance to respond to them individually. Your voice is heard. Even if you post about me on, like, Reddit or someone else's YouTube video, chances are I, I probably read it. So, I do care. And I look forward to bringing you guys more awesome African Kingdoms content and whatnot. Feel free to check out the video description for everything you need and more. Uh, should have a link to a functional pussy with there. Uh, my custom app also works with African Kingdoms. I'll have a playlist to all those other videos on that as well as videos to other games you can find my live streaming schedule on my twitch page update that every day just go to the twitch page scroll underneath the video player and i look forward to playing more of the malians so yeah we're gonna be right back we're gonna grab a glass of water hello pain hello denure <laughs> i'll read your coffee pasta when i get back and yes see you all in one minute